Hey guys, welcome back to Laura's Cozy Corner. I have about a, an hour before I have to door dash and I have my cat and dog fighting here. No, you cannot get up here. No, what are you doing? King, back up. Goodness gracious. Got all my canned goods over here in this corner. I almost knocked over. Okay. <laughs> um, it's 4.47 and I usually start door dashing at 5.30. And we haven't had supper, but I know we'll be wanting a snack. So what I'm trying to do is stop us from buying junk food too much. Uh, so I've got our green tea made in the kettle and we'll take us a big cup of green tea. I usually like these cups that have lids on them, tops so they don't spill and everything. And I'm gonna make some no-bake cookies. We ain't had them in a while and we like them. And that's like the quickest cookie I can make uh, in time before we go door dashing. So I'm gonna bring you along with me to uh, Make some no bake cookies. All right. I've got my pan over here ready. I get one of those big pans. I've heard people say that they can't make no bake cookies because they don't set up correctly. So, um, I thought I'd share this with you all. It's best to do one batch at a time. And I've got a pan here with some wax paper on it so I can move the pan around if I need to. That's where I'm gonna put the cookies at. And I need to get my... I use this to scoop out my cookies, the nice little round cookies. kitchen small so I gotta <laughs> do what you gotta do right all right so I have that ready and I've got it calls for a stick of butter I got the butter here I'm gonna turn my pan on medium and throw the butter in I'm gonna set you guys here If you hear my son in the background, he's vr <laughs> okay. While this is melting, I go on and start adding other ingredients to it. Let me see if I can get you looking down in my pan there. So next is two cups of sugar. I like these little containers to put our sugar and stuff in. So let's see, two cups of sugar. No, get down, cat. Down. Silly cat. Alright. And then next will be the third cup, let's see, combine butter, milk, and cocoa, and sugar in a big pan, so it would be the milk is a half a cup, so get that out.
I don't have the half cups, so I've got two of the fourths cups. I'm going to pour it, go ahead and pour it in my pan while the butter is milling still. sugar. So I got the sugar. I'm going to start putting that in there because the butter's almost melted. Well, I'll wait. Wait till that's completely melted. Yeah. Measure out my cocoa. It's a third a cup of cocoa, but it's five tablespoons. I think it's easier to measure with tablespoons with this. Use the Hershey's cocoa, and I just I don't know if you see or not, but I just scrape it off just like that. One, two, three. Parker, you need to watch your language. Five. I didn't hear you. Calm down and watch your language, please. Starting to boil already. <laughs> but it shouldn't be. Adding my sugar in here. Get the spoon. This is my favorite spoon to use. Mix it all nice. that combined but you see all these little clumps of the powder I try to mash that up against the pan Whoa. and try to stir it in make sure I get it all nice and smooth Hope you guys had a good weekend and yesterday we didn't door dash because uh, we was helping gather some wood for my brother-in-law. And even last night when I got home I was taking down all my Christmas stuff outside. There's still snow and ice out there but then I knew it was going to do freezing rain and rain so I didn't want to be out in that really I'm trying to take everything down so I've done that really fast even at night we're trying to get it all down and in the house I ain't even put it away yet it's just setting around everywhere right now I've been working on Parker's room 
I found totes that slide nicely underneath his bed. So we've been filling toys up and stuff with totes. Which makes it much easier for if children come over to play. They can just pull out a tote and they can see it's clear tote. I'm getting them from Walmart. It is a little on the high side. I think it's around $18, $19 for them, but in my opinion, it's well worth it but at the moment. Now what we need to do is let this sit and uh, once it becomes a roll, a rolling, roll, boil, rolling boil, that's when I start the time. I put my timer on for a minute on my stove. Until this boils, I'm over here fixing the peanut butter. So it takes me a minute because I need a third cup of peanut butter. I'm getting the third cup out. And I use the Jeffy creamy peanut butter. The sugar is um, raw. I think it's Murano is the brand. You get that from Walmart too, but raw cane sugar is what I use. So I get this peanut butter, fill it up. And then I take the flat part of the of the knife and just scrape it off. Now this time, as you can see, it's starting to boil. wait for all of it to boil there we go now they're boiling and popping pretty good and pretty fast so I start my timer one minute the uh, the vanilla that I use right now, it's great value brand, pure vanilla extract. Sometimes I have the money to buy good stuff and sometimes I don't, but I try not to get imitation vanilla. And it's a teaspoon of vanilla, so I'm going to get that ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my oats ready. Oats is three cups of quick oats. And I use Quaker oats. I'm gonna measure that out. Time is already up. Turn it off. Take this. I turn off the burner, but I take it off of the burner. So now, let's see if we can move you over here. Let's see if that's lighting better. Okay. First you plop in your peanut butter. You gotta do this step kind of quick because it's when it starts setting up and stuff. Just like you do any fudge or candy, things like that quick as you can anyway. <laughs> Keeps flopping back in the cup. Alright. 
teaspoon of vanilla. And then you gotta mix that in well till all the peanut butter's melted. I like that nice, pretty marbling color <laughs> of peanut butter and chocolate put together. No bake cookies may not be very, oh, what do you call it, healthy for you because of the sugar, but it's got peanut butter for protein. It's got oats in there for fiber. It does have sugar, but we crave sugar sometimes, so it takes away the sugar craving. And they're super sweet because I'm using really good ingredients. So we don't take a whole lot and get your fix. Kind of hurts your arm after a little bit, but you gotta cover every bit of that oats with chocolate mix. And it's starting to set up already. But I've always had problems with setting up and tried different things and all that, but Hank's aunt gave me the best advice. You choose to use your finger, it's hot. Just be careful. this little scoop and I dip and ball them out. This seems to be the fastest way to get them out for me. I was using an eighth of a cup making small cookies. That seemed to work pretty good but then you'd still have to scoop it out of the eighth of a cup. I've done that for years. And then just one day it clicked. Hey, what about a small ice cream scoop? Or I don't know what you'd call this. It could be a meatball scoop. It could be a melon baller. I'm not sure. They don't have to be a certain distance apart because you don't bake them. They're no bake cookies. They just harden up. dog is chasing the cat. Okay. With all the snow and everything that came in and now it's raining it's nothing but a muddy mess outside now <laughs> here in kentucky so it's not fun for the dog running around I'm out in the mud but that's probably why my floors are messy because i had him come in i just let the mud dry up as dirt and then sweep it up later A while ago, I went out to the coop and dug out some of her 
run area. I got one hen left. I wasn't sure if I told you guys or not, but the black one, she got sick on me and passed away. I think the end of December. And now I just have the tan one, brown one. And this morning I saw a spot up on her comb that's about white, white and black. So I don't know if she'll make it or not, but she's also sneezing. But I scooped out some of that out in the rain. Some of her run and put uh, food grade diatomaceous earth down on the dirt that I got to and then sprinkled a small layer of leaves that I had raked up in bag. And we'll see how well that does for her. Yeah, well, I'm making no bake cookies. Putting it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah this ice cream scoop is a trick. Much faster. But it, I know one thing, if you do a bunch of batches, my hand hurts. <laughs> trying to squeeze all these little cookies out so I switch hands and it doesn't take long for this to set up it's already kind of crumbling while I'm trying to put them together so And the best part about being the cook, you get the first cookie. <laughs> All right. What is going on with my lights in the background? I got one light flickering. All right. And then all we gotta do is do the cleanup. And look. My very first cookie is already set up. And you're gonna watch me take a bite because I love them. <laughs> mm. Perfect little snack. I'm gonna put them in a little bag and we'll have them with us when we door dash. And uh, look at the time guys. 5, 10. Still got 20 minutes to get ready. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you can make nobody cookies with no problem of them setting up either. <laughs> thanks for watching.